Hi guys, as usually it's me, just an off-screen voice and you are watching Review Machines. Can you imagine a kind of personal transport which moves you quickly and silently through crowds of people, which is very compact and can easily be carried like a bag, which doesn't need fuel and finally which is even able to move you by air, not real? Well, as to air I slightly exaggerated. But all the rest are quite real today. Contemporary technologies can provide us now with a transport that was a fiction just few years ago. One kind of this transport is so-called Solovio or Gyro Scooter. And today we will review the most popular models of these devices and we will compare them with each other. And this is Max, he is very fond of these devices, he knows about them everything. And by the way, he every day goes to his office by this gyro scooter. Let's ask him a few questions now. Is this just entertainment or it might be used like a real transport? They're both, but firstly I think it's a real and effective transport. But at the same time it is an entertainment. It may be used everywhere, even on the country footways. Today qualitative solar wheels are quite powerful devices. The newest motors with the best batteries provide a very fast acceleration and maximum speed is about 15 miles per hour and their range is about 20 miles. The complete charging takes about 2 hours, but you can charge a device just for half an hour while having coffee and it will allow you to go for 10 miles. The weight on average is about 10 kilos. It might seem that it's very tough and dangerous to ride on solo wheel, but in fact it's much simpler than it might seem. If you are able to ride on bicycle, you may be sure that you can ride on solo wheel after a little practice. When someone sees a solo wheel riding for the first time, he may think it's very difficult, like a circus performance. What can you say? How long will it take to get the hang of it? On average, it may take about a day of practice. Someone may learn it just for half an hour, and someone may need a week. But most people can ride very well just after about a day of practice. And I recommend to wear a helmet and some protective clothes, especially if you are a new boy. What about children? When can they start to ride? Just when they can ride a bicycle, about at 7 years old. Well, what is the secret of the device? Why riders can so easily balance on only one wheel? The point is that the device is designed on the base of gyroscope. It means that the computer tracks your position on the device and equilibrates all your inclinations. For example, when you are riding, you are going to fall forward or backwards. But the computer simply won't allow you to do that. It will move according to your inclinations and will prevent you from falling. In this way, all that you need is just to balance yourself as if you rode on bicycle. What's the maximum speed? It's about 15 miles per hour. Well, it can go even faster, but it may be dangerous. Mind that when you are riding 15 miles per hour, you cannot any moment jump off and run on your foot. But if you go faster and jump off, you will fall. Well, we see that the device perfectly moves on a flat road. What about some rough ground, like snow and sand? 
First of all, saw wheels can be used in rainy weather. They have weatherproof protection IP65. You may ride among puddles and on snow without any difficulties and any harm for the device. But mind that it's a bit harder to ride on rough ground. It's quite different from riding on flat road. So be careful when you are going off road. Some qualitative views are quite powerful and effective even on off-road. Well, of course, it's hardly possible to go through swamps. But on a regular country road they may be used without any problems. These devices are very maneuverable, so it's easy to go around obstacles and they have enough power to climb rather high slopes. Moreover, many people ride on their solo wheels even in winter. They just equip winter tire not to slide on a frosty roads. Well, let's do some tests for the devices. For our test we have an American brand solo wheel and two cheap Chinese wheels Joyer and IPS. American device costs three times more than its Chinese analogs. And what is the practical difference between them? American view is much more powerful. Chinese wheels are about 800 watts and solo wheel is 2 kW. How can we see the difference of power in practice? Well, I will show it you now. Firstly, we tried the cheapest Chinese wheel IPS. As you can see, it doesn't require much efforts to make the device lean forward. And you should know, when you are riding, such touch on the ground means you are unavoidable falling. Then we tested Joyer, and it was much more difficult to touch the ground with this wheel. But finally we managed to do that. And as to Sovio, we didn't manage to lean it to the ground at all. Now let's see how the devices can handle a 24 degree slope. The first IPS, the cheapest model. The result is not impressive. Then Joyer. Much better, it's almost managed to do the slope. And Solvio gets on the top without much efforts. Then we found out that IPS can't go on rough ground. It switches off when you are trying to go even a little faster. Now let's see the maximum speed. IPS switched off at 14 km per hour. Joyer shoved us 18 km per hour. And the result of Sovio is 24 km per hour. And there is another important thing when we are talking about these devices. There are many reports on the internet about self-ignitions of the wheels. But almost all of the reports tell us about cheap no-name Chinese devices. Let's try to find out what the ignitions were caused by. Now you see some stuff that every wheel contains inside. At the left it's no-name wheel. At the right it's a brand wheel. The point is that no-name battery is not qualitative and it may take fire while charging. And this is brand parts. Here we have a qualitative battery. And as you can see, everything is covered with fire prevention material. That's why we strongly not recommend to choose no-name devices. Well, let's sum up this video. I think such devices as Monowheel have a great future. 
Yes, today they are a bit weighty, and the range leaves much to be desired, but even now they can impress you. They are very compact, fast and flexible, and I think soon they will be considered as a completely regular thing, like umbrellas. Thanks for watching, please consider subscribing if you like this video. It will be many more interesting materials, goodbye.